A Reynolds polymer is used to doing things that people have never done before. When our production team found out that we were going to be building a pool in London that was 10 stories high and spanned between two buildings, there was definitely a sense of surprise and excitement. My first thoughts were London, outside year round, a little bit crazy, um, but we like that. You know, as a company, we've built some of the world's largest acrylic structures, and for this sky pool, we actually had to change some of our process in order to complete it. It looks simple, but when you get into the details, you've got two separate buildings, actually, and you're trying to span across that. At 115 feet up in the air, those buildings move independent of each other. They move inches. So we had to come up with a system that would compensate for that different movement of those buildings. Originally, the developer wanted to build the glass bottom pool, but acrylic was definitely the best option for this application. Uh, acrylic is a lot lighter. The clarity is much better. Uh, the ability to create it into one uniform piece is much better. And in the end, you end up with a beautiful structure that you wouldn't have if you tried to do it in glass. We, we innovate almost every single day because people are bringing stuff to us that just hasn't been done. Everything's a little bit different, so it's a little bit normal for us to do, to do innovation. This was a difficult project. Um, it's something nobody's ever done before, and we ran into some struggles. I mean, there were things we needed to learn, and we didn't give up, and the team stuck with it. I think the fulfillment comes from the fact that so much hard work and effort went into this project and now the world is getting to see it and also validation that you know we're the number one in doing what we do.